Hi everyone, uh, in this beginner's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make very simple house drum patterns. And here's what we're going to make today. Uh, we've prepared a free sample pack with sounds that we're going to be using here. So download it before we get started and this way you can follow along with the tutorial. So it's on our freebies page under the name house drums. So get it and you'll be good to go. Also, if you've got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and we'll be happy to help you out. So then just open up Ableton and follow my steps. So let's get started with this one. Let me open up a new uh, Ableton project. Here's what Ableton looks like when you first open it up. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the tab key on your keyboard and that will take you to the arrangement view. That view was called session view and for this tutorial we're going to work only in the arrangement view. So just press tab and you'll be good to go. And also you'll see here four tracks. So two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. In this video we're going to be using only MIDI tracks so you can click on the audio tracks and delete them by clicking shift and pressing on both of these tracks and clicking delete. If you go into our folder, then you can find a kick, kick sample called kick.wave and if you click the first MIDI track and drag your sample in this area, it should show up like this. So you can see the sample placed in the bottom left corner on the screen. So that will load up the sample into a device called Simpler. So just bear in mind that I'm using Ableton 9.5 and on older versions Simpler will look a little bit different. Before we form a kick pattern, let's quickly set up the tempo of our track to 97 BPM and you can do that by clicking this box right here in the left corner and uh, typing in 97 BPM. There we go. And now let's zoom in at our first bars because we're going to insert some patterns at the beginning of the track. So if you hover your mouse over this area, your mouse will turn into a hand holding a magnifying glass. Hopefully you can see that. And if you drag your mouse down and click, you can zoom in. So let's just zoom in at this area. Now we're going to add a blank clip onto our track so that we can make a drum pattern. So select a quarter of the first bar like this and right click in the upper area of the selection and from the drop down menu click uh, insert MIDI clip and that will insert a blank clip for us and we can insert a kick pattern here and then copy it all over our track. Now to make a pattern in this blank clip that we've created you can click on it and press shift and tab that will take you to the clip view where we can add the pattern. First of all, let's add a single C3 note at the beginning by double clicking uh, here and then extend this note so that we are playing the whole sample. The reason why we're playing the C3 note instead of like higher notes is because the C3 note is always the default pitch of the sound. So if we play it like C4, it will be a much higher pitch of the sound or a lower pitch, of course lower notes would uh, give us a lower pitch. So we're just playing the default pitch of our kick. Yeah, if we now go back and go into the arrangement by pressing shift and tab once again and extend this uh, clip all over the first bar, uh, you should hear by after pressing space this very, very basic kick button. Nothing crazy, just four kicks. So yeah, now let's uh, turn down the volume of the kick to minus 23 decibels. So we can do that by clicking here, typing in minus 23 and pressing enter. Okay, that's very basic, let's make a snare. So uh, for this purpose, select the second track and drag the snare.wave uh, sample from our sample pack onto this area. Okay, so let's just repeat the process of adding a new blank clip, but this time we're going to select this area, like the half of the first bar, and let's insert a MIDI clip in this area and click Shift Tab and insert a C3 note in the exact middle of the clip and extend it. And let's 
drag the clip, extend it over the whole bar and let's give it a listen. This is a very basic kick and snare pattern. Let's apply a cool trick here. We're going to layer this snare with a clap sound to make it more interesting. So this is a trick I use in almost every of my tracks. I love making custom snare and clap combinations. So to do this, you need to click on the simplest name. So here's how you do it. You need to click this third icon uh, on the left and it's called show uh, hide chain list. And now just find the sample called uh, clap.wave inside our sample pack and you need to drag it and drop it over here. That's all. And if we now play this whole clip that we've got, maybe it's not too obvious. If we solo the clap now, then you'll hear that we are playing both sounds, in fact. Okay, so now let's tweak the volumes a little bit. I want the clap to be a little bit louder, so I'll click here and type 2, enter, and it will go to 2 decibels. And you can also drag down these, these boxes, of course, to customize your volumes if you'd like some different values. But let's quickly change the snare's volume to minus 6 dB, and that's all for our kick and snare. So now we're going to add some reverb and it will add some mood to our snare so that it's not that dry. You can find it in audio effects. If you click here uh, in the browser on the left of the program, type in reverb and click audio effects, then you'll see the reverb effect uh, right here. And you can double click it and you'll see an effect pop up after the sample. Let's, let's give it a listen. It's way too much reverb, so let's tweak its settings a little bit, because the echo is now way too muddy and loud. Let's turn on the low cut on this filter right here, and this will make our reverb much lighter. And also, we need to move this uh, our yellow circle into this position. Uh, you see that we are only using the higher frequencies for the reverb. Let's also make it... Uh, that will make our reverb sound way less muddy. You hear we're playing much higher frequencies, so... Okay, now let's just make it quieter by dragging down the dry wet to around 8%. Of course, you can also click in and type 8 and you'll be exactly at 8%. So here's our beat with this little splash of reverb. A very subtle, subtle effect. So let's add some hi-hats to add more groove to the beat. This is my favorite part with house drums. So let's insert a new MIDI track by right-clicking here, selecting Insert MIDI Track, and uh, now just drag the Hi-Hat 1 sample onto the track as usual. But on this track, we're going to also play more samples, but not simultaneously, uh, like with the snare. So a device that allows us to use more samples on a single MIDI track is called a drum rack. So to put a sample onto a drum rack, you don't have to search for a drum rack, you can simply right click its name, like this, and click group to drum rack. Of course this drum rack is something like an MPC if you've ever used it. You can uh, push these buttons if you load up samples here and you can play them. So, so now let's drag the uh, Hi-Hat 2 sample in here on the uh, C-Sharp 1 slot and okay so we can play around with these hi-hats you see this one is a little bit higher let's select a quarter of the bar like this and insert a new midi clip here and let's go into the clip view and now we'll see only the two samples that we've got and this is a cool option triggered by this fold button right here and that way we are seeing only the keys that we've got samples already on. Let's insert a pattern here. So first I want the first hi-hat, then I'll click Command and D, duplicate it, and place it on the second hi-hat. I'll duplicate it two more times by clicking Command or Control on Windows and D. So here's what it should sound like now. We need something less robotic sounding. 
let's uh, set the volumes and you can set the volumes by expanding this little uh, bar in the clip view and dragging down and up these uh, these lines so let's change the volumes like this this almost here I like these volumes so I'm gonna now duplicate this clip all over the bar and let's give it a listen sounds great so now we've got a lot more groove in our beat so to add more mood to our hi-hats we can copy the reverb from the snare click on it click command and c go into our hi-hats clip click here and click command and v and it should be more atmospheric you already hear the reverb tail here We can turn down the we can turn down the dry wet a little bit. Sounds great. So okay, now we're going to add some toms. That's also uh, something house music uses a lot because it's a lot about the groove and the drums and the uh, patterns. Uh, let's make a new MIDI track as always, and let's drag the tom one sample of course here let's group it to a drum rack just like with the hi-hats there we go and let's place a second tom onto the c sharp one key and let's insert the midi clip across the whole bar this time like this and i'm gonna insert two midi notes here so the first one like this and i'm gonna hold alt or option and duplicate it into this position and I'm gonna tweak the volumes a little bit. Let's set it like this and let's hear what we've got. Yeah, we've got very cool toms. So let's extend all of our clips uh, uh, like this. We've got two bars. Of course, you can extend it more and add your own patterns at the end. But for now, let's extend it over two bars. And let's simply create a new audio track this time. And we're going to add a clap sound, uh, a reverbed clap sound from a, a drum machine called TR-808. It's a very famous drum machine. So let's drag the TR-808 clap reverb sample here, just like this. And let's... Um, Turn down its volume to minus 8 dB and let's hear what we've got. We can also loop this whole area by selecting it and clicking Command and L and now we'll loop our beat. Thanks for watching. This is the final result. If you'd like to learn more about making tracks in Ableton, I've got an ebook called Making a Beat from Start to Finish, and uh, I'm explaining a little bit more complicated stuff. But for now, you can use these techniques from this tutorial to make your own drum patterns and expand this beat onto something completely new. And yeah, just good luck with your music making. It was K Pizza bringing you a tutorial on house drum patterns. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next videos. Bye.